Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everything's amazing. I hope you're having an amazing day, as always. And well, welcome to Andres Geckos, and um, let's get started. Let's begin with this one right here. This one, I bought him, I bought him as a pet from a breeder that I know. Um, it's a Trumper Sungo, actually. Here, by the way, I have side notes that I just have the genetic right now. I have uh, more information on on notes in my in my iPhone. So let's begin. This guy is a temperature sex female TSF. I actually love this dude. I bought him as a pet because I love the the white line on his head, the the colors on the tail, and basically everything. I basically just love this animal and how it is coming to coming out. So. This is my rack system. I've only used four slots right now. I got six more to go. I have them at 31 program. There it is going up right now. It is always moving from 30 to 32. It's always at that range. So fun fact, this one, this one, and this one are actually all siblings. I'll show you all of them and tell you all about them. So these guys are barely babies. This one, I weighed him yesterday. He's at 5 grams right now, he is eating perfectly, and by the way, he is a possible ball stripe snow white and yellow raptor, high contrast actually. I bought him from a, from a friend of mine, that's the same as the other two. So here is the genetics, I have these on every one of them. I actually love how this one is turning out to be, um, he's turning out to be like the father. I'll show some pics of him later. So if you like see this one. It's another sibling. Here's the information. I'll say it also. This one is a possible bull stripe, snow, white and yellow, head raptor, high contrast also. It's a sibling. By the way, all three of these are sex to be males and females, the three of them. So I actually love how this one is turning out to be. It's coming out like the female. And he, this one is the one that eats like crazy. He, has, he, he actually has a regenerated tail. He is, sadly, he got in a fight with this guy right here. This one also dropped his tail when I had him, when the breeder had him together when they were born. And also they're skittish. They actually drop their tails. Yeah, well, last but not least is this dude right here. Feisty little dude. This one is actually in pre shed. He's shedding right now. That's why he's a little bit, you know, angry that I'm bothering him, so I don't want to bother him too much. This one is also a, a bold stripe, snow, white and yellow raptor, high contrast also. It's another sibling. Here is the paper with the information. So I actually am going to breed these three when they get bigger. Um, I'm actually loving how they're turning out. And I got them from a, for a very reasonable price from the video that I bought them. So I actually moistened this, this dude's, this guy's home so he could shed easily. This one actually shed yesterday. They're both eating like crazy. This one eats like 20 to 25 mealworms every two days. And two dubias I put in there also. This one eats like 10 mealworms per two days and like two dubias also. This one same and this one same. But this one is the most feisty out of the, the, the three of these. So this is my rec system. I got him from a friend that I know. And uh, it's all. 30, I have this thermometer that tells me the temperature and the humidity. Fahrenheit and Celsius, I have it. Here's the Fahrenheit. It's actually a little bit lower. I want to program it to be 90 degrees, but it's going up. And it's always going up and going down. It's never that accurate. So, also, I was going to tell you guys. I feed these these guys since they are still little. Um, I feed them mainly mealworms. Sometimes, I, st I already started feeding this guy crickets, the Trampersongo. 
Um, he eats like he eats like crazy. Um, I started feeding him crickets. These guys only eat mealworms still. And yesterday I started putting dubia roaches. I put two dubias on each, and well, they this one ate them all. This one ate one, one and two. This one ate them all also. So they are eating very well. And as you can see, I have different heights on every one of them. This one has a cave cave type height. I all have the same food bowl and same water bowl for all of them. Actually, today's cleaning day. That's where you, can, you guys can see the poops. Um, this one has a log type height. Same food bowl, water bowl, beautiful gecko, and the poops. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a video on on um, how to clean these, how 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 I clean these, and how I recommend this. This one I actually used a paper paper uh, toilet paper roll because I I can't find right now during the pandemic I haven't been able to find uh, any more hides. Um, this is a food bowl, water bowl, a little bit of poop, and this little beautiful guy right here. He just started a feral and that's this dude right here. He has another log type, log type hide. It's like this one, but smaller because he's smaller. And he has his food bowl, water bowl, and since he's shedding, I actually clean his cage um in the morning. So he's already cleaned up. He's already had his humid, humid home, and well, yeah. Um, comment down below two things if you want me to do a video on how to clean these how I clean these and if you want me to do a feeding video Yeah, and um, actually I just fed him right now here are all the mealworms. He already ate like 10 of them. There's a dubia, right, right there. He already ate one also. So here I already fed him, as you can see. He's already ready to eat. It's nighttime right now. I have the lights on. This one already ate the dubias. There's one left. He already ate one. Yeah, I already fed everything. This one ain't gonna eat because he is shedding right now. It's a stressful time for them. And well, last but not least, now this is the calcium that I use. It's Repcal. It's calcium with vitamin D3 already in it, mixed mixed in. It's ultra fine powder. It was recommended from an own breeder of mine, and it has worked perfectly. It's for all reptiles and amphibians. And also here I have some well, more water bowls. More water bowls over here. These ones are specially made for them. These ones are just two ounce cups that have worked for me. I actually have them in there as I showed you. I have a food bowl just in case. And these tuppers are they work for egg laying boxes and to shower my geckos whenever they don't shed well. I'll shower them and most their feet because it's the most common spot where geckos will not shed well. Here's a thermic plate. Here's another one. This one's Sumed. This one's Petmel. Both very recommended. They are both very well. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't come. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment as, as always, um, and let me know. Let me know every that we have or any comments you have to say or. And also let me know in, in, of any video ideas you you guys would like to see. And well, as always, thanks, thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And see you next time.